Hello again, my name is Jeff, and thank you for joining me for part three of this restoration. This is our Chow Chow, it's Jenny, she's my assistant and director, and always getting in the way. And as you know, we're restoring a Mobilet X7 moped. Well, today's episode will be wheels and tires, actually just the front wheel. And this is the last scene from this camera. It uh, died after this, so uh, by the time we have the next video, it should be a new camera. Okay, so I've already taken out the inner parts and the bearings in the cup. I didn't show you what I was doing because I didn't know myself. But uh, as we put the wheel back together, uh, you'll be able to see you know, the other way round. These little plates there, they hold in the bearings. All right, the first thing we do is just uh, release the little bit of air that's left in the inner tube. Now, Jenny's not happy here. She doesn't want you to wait for two minutes whilst I train the air. So we'll carry on with that. And now using these tyre levers, we shall uh, begin to try and get the old tyre off. I did leave the wheel out in the sun for a little bit as well, which uh, softens the rubber up a little bit, which does help. So we've now got the first bead off and now I'll try and get the complete tire off. This is where you need three hands. And after a little bit of levering it does eventually come apart. Now taking out the inner tube, which uh, is actually in good condition, which I uh, will use a little bit later on. Now just a little bit of demonstration rather than doing it, uh, I won't do it with Jenny here. But I'm just going to go around with a spinning wire brush just to get the worst of the aluminium uh, off the uh, Yeah, so uh, putting it into the sand blaster now, with your blaster. Quite difficult to see in here because it, uh, it's blowing up quite a lot of dust as it's uh, quite near the bottom, just about fits in. So I'll just go around there for a little while and uh, get the rest of the corrosion off. And as it's uh, an alloy, uh, put it in the oven for a little bit. I have washed it as well. So it'll go in there just for about 20 minutes just to bake out any impurities. And I've now gone over with some heat resistant tape to mask off the, uh, the breaking areas and the bearing areas. And so it's slightly out of shot here, uh, but uh, just going around with some acetone now just to clear out any uh, debris left on there. And so starting with the powder coat, this is Electrostatic Magic Nickel Silver. And just able to hold it from the hub the other side and then turn it the other way up and put it on the brake side. Now we can just carefully slide that into the oven. Smaller items normally take about 10 minutes, 180 degrees. I did give this one a little bit longer as it's uh, a larger item. So probably about 15, 20 minutes on this one. Well. 
Okay, so after the bacon, it's come out very well, very pleased with that. Brand new tyre now. The original was 10 by 2.50, but uh, I've bought 2.75, which was originally on the bike, and I've coated the inner tube in some talcum powder just to stop it uh, getting stuck and, uh, and pinched. Now I'm just going around with some car shampoo to use washing up liquid, but uh, this was the hand just to help with the lubrication getting the tire back on. So here we go, try and get the first part of the beading over the top and once that's done try and fit the inner tube, try and tuck it under once again without pinching it. a little bit of air in there but it just helps a little bit I feel right, there we go keep persisting tucking it in Now a little bit of a disaster, the uh, workbench is broken, it wasn't exactly expensive so there's too much pressure being put on it but never mind we'll carry on. I'm just trying to get the final bits on now just using the tire lever. There we go, tire back on now, just giving that little bounce around just to try and uh, even the, the tire up on there. So now just giving the rim just a quick clean, get some of the shampoo off. And the spindle area and the nuts and bolts, I'm just going to put them in the parts washer for a little while. Try and bring them up a little bit. All the outside bolts I'll be uh, hopefully powder coating just a little bit later on when I do other bits and pieces. But mainly just uh, getting all the old grease out. And the ball bearings had the same treatment. So what I've done, I've packed some grease into the bearing race and uh, just going around carefully, one ball at a time. There's actually 11 per side. Now we need to grease the spindle up. And just carefully slide that in without knocking all the ball bearings out and then you've got this little washer that clips in and that is the securing washer for the bearings same with the other side pack in some grease in again for the next lot of bearings Now this is the brake unit, uh, the chrome will polish up nicely and also the rest of it is black so I'll, I'll be masking that off. So I'm just putting the wheel back on temporary for now and so we'll come back to it to do the bolts and sort the brakes out so, and everything. So here we go now, trying to get the wheel on.
I didn't go on too long showing you this uh, it was a lot of mucking about but uh, eventually we did get there and as you can see on the brake side there's a little lug there which has to clip in which makes it a bit difficult getting on but it is in now and that will be polished up uh, a little bit later on so there we are for now I hope you did enjoy this episode please join me and Jenny for the next one until then please take care and please join us again thank you